took the 240 drifting for the first time, there's a lot of things that need to be dialed in, including the suspension and alignment. But the biggest thing right now is that the car doesn't start. So we know it's getting fuel and it's turning over with the crank, but it's not starting. So we do have some things that we're going to look over. We got the multimeter so we can check the electronics and hopefully you can find us wrong. The first thing that we're going to do is check if the ECU has power. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A few moments later. Just found it. Yeah, look, it's blown. Okay, let's try this. This is for. Oh, this might be it because I think this is ignition power. Yeah. Ignition lead to injectors. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. This is it. Oh, my God. Wait, change it oh. first and make sure you plug the other thing back in, too. Okay. Or right, does your fuses first? This is it. I hope so too. It might be it because. No, that's definitely it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ten, right? Yeah. Yay! Hopefully. Plug that F3 plug back in and then. All right, a moment of truth. If not, we're going to be really digging through it. it. That would have been the simplest solution. The fuel pump. Yeah, the fuel pump. Okay, so Christine's going to go ahead and replace the fuse, and then we're going to see if this thing starts up. Crossing our fingers, I'm pretty sure it's going to be it, though. So we'll see. So you can hear the fuel pump come on first. There it goes. Yeah. 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 Well, it needs to Yay. warm up too. <laughs> Woo! That works. Oh, yeah. That means that we can bring this car in the garage again. Yes. Yay. That was so simple. So that was the best. Option. Um, there is a couple of fuel leaks and stuff that we need to go over. Not fuel leaks, but vacuum leaks. Uh, I already capped off a couple on top of the intake manifold, but there's a whistle, so we gotta find that. Um, we'll do that soon. I don't know, but the car runs. I'm pretty excited now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so now we can fix everything yeah. that the car needs to be, uh, well, needs to be fixed. Um, ideally, we need to raise the car up too, like lift it up off the ground so we can check underneath and all that good stuff. But it runs what again. Do you think? Um, maybe that that ground on the. Oh, so I should go through. Yeah. So the blown fuse isn't. Yeah, isn't the issue. We gotta figure out what blew the fuse, but for now it runs. I think we should check, maybe something's grounding out, which I think is that wire for the, the sensor, I'm hoping. And then, uh, yeah, that's the whole process. We could, we could probably go through that too. Uh, we just gotta figure out what's on that circuit and then go from there, kind of just eliminate all the sensors one by one. But for now, guys, it starts up, as you guys can see, and it starts right up. I mean, the car surprised me a lot, really. This car has a lot of potential. Once you get this thing dialed in, this thing is going to be a beast. It spins these big, giant wheels like nothing. So this car is going to be so sick once we get it dialed in. Like I said, Christine's going to, she's going to rip. There was a lot of understeer going on, and I, I blame it on the alignment um, and the suspension setup. So we're going to go ahead and dial this in more. Um, one of the biggest culprits is we weren't able to get it totally towed correctly. 
So there is a good amount of toe in. So that's the reason why I believe she was under steering a lot or like couldn't really get it going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start the car, or you're going to start the car. We're going to start it up, and we're just going to spray it. <coughs> oh, <not> bad. <laughs> we're going to just spray it until it, until it, we hear the idle change. Okay. Okay? Okay. So... Can we get the fire extinguisher? It's inside my car. Hold on. So we blew the fuse again right now as we're looking for the vacuum leak. So we need to figure out where the short in that circuit is. And then we also need to figure out where the vacuum leak is. I don't know if you guys can catch it on camera, but it's squealing. Yeah, it's, yeah. can you hear it? The it's slight, soft, it used to be way louder, but it's, it's there. The main issue though is to find what is shorting out on this engine because it's blowing the injector power and that's what's cutting the car out. So we need to figure that out. Um, we need to look through the diagram and see what's on that circuit and figure out one by one what is or what could be the culprit. And then we need to check the O2 sensors. I'm thinking it might be the O2 sensors. A lot of times people say that even though there's heat wrap on the O2 sensors, the wires on the inside melt. So we're probably gonna check that out, but I think that we should lift the car up off the ground so we can get underneath and check everything out. It feels like it's fine. Was, what side is like close to the exhaust? Is it touching? Is it like close to the, is it the sensor side or the plug side? Uh, the sensor side is closer to the exhaust. Okay, I wonder if we should try to take the sensor off. Or oh, it wasn't even tight. It's literally loose. Oh, really? Yeah. Story of your life, of your <laughs> car's life? <laughs> yeah, everything loose. Oh, yeah, okay, let me see it. Okay. You took that off my hand? I took it off my hand. And it, it was like I could still probably turn it in a little bit. It seems like the wires are okay, yeah? Yeah, the wires look good. Okay, you can put this back in. I think we figured out why it was misfiring. So I accidentally didn't plug one of the injectors in. Maybe that's why it was misfiring, huh? No, <laughs> Girls that work on cars, huh? The next day. The fuse keeps blowing on this car, which is making it hard for us to find the vacuum leak. So as you guys see, we went ahead and checked the passenger side O2 sensor. Um, we didn't get to the driver's side, but I went ahead and checked out the schematics for the wiring. And it turns out that the driver's side is actually on that circuit with the fuse that keeps blowing. So I want to go ahead and look at it and look what we found. So that's wire right here up against the header is actually the O2 sensor wire. And uh, let me zoom in real quickly. So if you see closely, that's actually exposed wire right at the plug. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a big culprit for the fuse to be, keep blowing because both ends are actually exposed. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this and uh, crossing our fingers that this is exactly what's wrong. I did a little bit more digging around and I found more wires actually. So we're gonna go ahead and do a bunch of testing. But uh, this plug right here 
is totally melted and there's also exposed tips right here. Uh, this is totally my fault because I shoved all these wires back here and I totally forgot about them. So that's on me, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and test them because I wanna make sure that this is the reason why the fuse keeps blowing. Uh, so that we don't have no more issues after that. If uh, if this is the issue, I'm pretty much going to snip these off and uh, tape them off from there. Because these are no longer needed. I don't know what they're for, but the car runs fine without them. So, yeah. Okay, go ahead to the black side. Okay, stop. Okay, try. Yeah, enough. Okay. I think we found it. So we repaired the plug side. So now we just need to clean up this external harness or this harness right here. I believe this goes to the automatic transmission and stuff like that. I could be wrong, but I don't think we need it because the car runs fine without all this stuff plugged in. So I'm probably just gonna chop this off the harness so that way it uh, minimizes the amount of wires in the engine bay. Oh, okay, good. Is this ghetto or what? Probably. I mean, the right way is to take the whole harness back off the car. Oh, hell no. <laughs> and then one by one, pull the wires out of the, the um, thing. We've got to plug in the OT sensor and then uh, see if the car starts. And if it doesn't start, I guess we know where to look first is <laughs> that harness that we took apart. So that we labeled nothing on. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just plug it back in like regular? You can just plug it in for now. The OT sensor's out of the way now? I mean, the, the wire's out of the way now? Okay. I guess we can try to start it. Here we go, moment of truth. Let's see if any of those wires had anything to do with it starting. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it runs for now. Um, I don't think it's anything bad, to be honest. Well, it runs. Is the, it, does it have a new noise? Your car has all the noises. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of it though. Um, so now we can figure out where the vacuum leak's coming from, but it is close to 11 right now, so let's not run the car right now. We gotta be nice to the neighbors. We're gonna end the video right here. We pretty much have an idea of why the car kept blowing that fuse and hopefully it's because of those melted plugs. So next we can start working on the suspension and the vacuum leak and get this car going again. So thank you guys so much for watching, for rocking with us. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay good.